So in this video, I'm going to talk about why Apple does not have a close all apps button and why I personally stopped closing all of my apps. Hi, my name is D.I. Lee and you are my VIP and I'm a software engineer by day, YouTuber my part time and on this channel we talk about tech news and reviews. And in this video, we're going to take a look at why the iPhone does not have a close all apps button by taking a look at how the iPhone manages its apps in the background and when you should actually be closing those apps. So the real reason why Apple doesn't have a close all apps button is because they don't actually want you to do that. Because very simply, Apple is all about simplicity. So if they wanted you to be able to close all the apps, they would have added in a button by now. So why don't they want you to do it? Well, you see under the hood, the iPhone is incredibly efficient at managing RAM on its own. Because all these computers have a limited amount of RAM, which stands for random access memory. It's pretty much the more RAM you have, the more stuff you can do on your computer all at the same time. And because all devices have a limited amount of RAM, it's up to the software to decide how much of that RAM it gives to all of the various apps. The iPhone is very efficient at managing RAM on its own because when an app is not in use, it'll automatically pause that app pretty much freezing the state in place until you open it up again. And according to Apple's official support page, they say that after you switch to a different apps, some apps run for a short period of time before they're set to a suspended state. Apps that are in a suspended state aren't actively in use, open, or taking up system resources. Now, if you have a lot of apps open, the oldest apps might take longer when you access them again because it hasn't been in the more recently used pile. This in computer science is called the LRU cache, which is short for least recently used. So the app switcher is a version of the least recently used cache where the ones that you access most recently are gonna be at the front and the ones towards the back, you haven't used them in a while. It's kind of like when you're not using your iPhone, you wouldn't turn off your phone and then turn it back on when you needed it. You just click the sleep button on the side and have your screen blank. But if your phone wasn't working properly, then it might make sense to turn off your phone and on again so that it can have a fresh restart. And that is a great segue into when you should actually be closing your apps. Because again, according to the Apple's official support page, you should only close apps when they are not functioning properly. Seriously, even in the world of computers, nothing works as well as the good old turn it off and turn it on again. The only other acceptable time to be closing all of your apps is when it feels just so satisfying to swipe away all of the apps. I don't know what it is about closing all the apps that makes me feel like I'm cleaning out my closet or something. So that's why Apple doesn't have a close all apps button. I hope you learned something today. If you did, I really appreciate if you gave it a like. If you have any questions about closing apps on your iPhone, leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments and I really like hearing from you, my audience, so I appreciate that. Okay, thank you again so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.